afternoon. This is Chris Brecher with an early edition of the Simpler Stocks free video. This is the weekend edition for June 12th, believe it or not, already. Uh, U.S. Open Golf Week, uh, week uh, coming up. I'm doing this early because I'm flying to Austin right now, and uh, I won't be able to do it later. Just to let you know, we talked about this on, uh, on Simpler Stocks on the premium side, about it's time for a rotation. So look at the ESs today, up 1075. NASDAQ down 11 in the EMD, up 1660. Bonds, I've been warning about them looking toppy because if you were on the Simpler Stocks premium side, you'd see us talking about the REITs and that something didn't seem right. So bonds also sold off overbought at resistance. Bonds down 11 today. Industrial's up 102. Great day in there, led by the banks and the oils, believe it or not, in here. I've been warning about that also. Transport's not doing much. As you see, NDX down 12, the rut up almost 18. Very impressive. Gold down 970. This has been following bonds, both of them, as you see on here. I published this for days now. Is Look at the correlation. Now, I'm not saying forever, but I'm saying in the last month. Look at the correlation between bonds and gold. Very curious in here to see this right here. Look at that. Very similar in there. So just uh, both uh, got overbought at resistance and they sold off. You have the gold stocks not down that much, down 115 if you use the three times ETF. Silver down 19. And uh, you have crude oil up only 41, but the crude oil stocks just got way overblown. I told you that that was probably going to happen. Advanced decline very strong, up about 15. You have the NASDAQ advanced decline, believe it or not, up 922. This is all just the FANG stocks getting hit. Today, VIX down 62. VIX futures down 44. So what do we see here in the market? I'm telling you, I've been warning about this. This is what you want. I'm telling you, I can't tell you how many people don't believe me on this. You go into stock twits in here. And I want you to see QQQ. And I want you to see the bullishness. It's 84%. Anything over 60% is extreme. 84 is outrageous. So my whole idea in here was to buy the stocks that look good in the Russell and use the NASDAQ stocks to hedge against it. It's worked to perfection. So I hope you get a chance to sign up for our site. Uh, so far, so good. Have a great weekend.